bright suns and welcome to another makeup video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my Star Wars Ahsoka Rebels makeup. So this is my version where I do not use an airbrush but I still use airbrush paints. You just get yourself a big fluffy brush. You could use a kabuki brush. Dip it in your liquid alcohol airbrush paint and then smooth it on over. Now I've already used a glue stick on my eyebrows. I do about five layers just to get them glued down really nice. And then I'll go over them with my airbrush makeup. These colors I'm using are Coral Tan and Orange by Pro Air Hybrid. Depending on your skin tone will be the ratio that you mix those two colors to, but I use three quarters orange and a quarter Coral Tan. Gently work around my eyes and then for any little fine details I might have missed, I will just use my finger and pat the paint on. Any paint left on my brush, I will just go ahead and rub onto my hands. You know, waste not, want not. Grab you some baby powder. Go ahead and set your paint. I use baby powder. You could use regular makeup setting powder. You can also use makeup setting powder, which is what I use on my face. But on my body, I just use plain old baby powder. So get you some cheap makeup setting powder and then set your face. Really let it bake in there. We're about to add some more color over top. So I found this orange shades blush kit at Walmart. But really, you could use any warm color blushes. So I'm going to go ahead and add some to my cheeks. Go ahead and highlight those cheekbones with that blush. And here I'm using my bronzer to add some dimension. And if you don't have bronzer, you could do the same thing with some brown eyeshadows. You want to add some more color in there so that you're not just flat looking. Here I'm just adding a little bit of contour to my nose. Ahsoka Rebels has very slender features, so don't be afraid to use your browns and really get in there and just, you know, work in some shapes and some colors and some shading. Have fun with it. grabbed my highlighter and I'm just adding some highlighting spots to a few places on my face. really want to add that dimension. All these layers are going to be underneath the white paint. So guess what's coming next? Now I use Diamond FX, which is a water-based paint, and seeing I'm using a water-based paint over my alcohol-based paint, they don't bleed into each other or mix, which comes in really handy for this next part because now it's time to paint the white markings. My best advice is take your time, but if you make a mistake, I have a fix for that if you're using these exact paints. So I'm just trying to get both sides even. And make sure you don't do a straight brow. You don't want to look like an angry Ahsoka. Go ahead and curve over those features. Adjust the white markings for your face. We're all not, don't have the same face shape as Ahsoka, which doesn't really matter. So go ahead and accentuate what you got. I like to go ahead and get my baselines done first so I know exactly where my cheek markings are going to be and my forehead markings. So I do those first and I will do nice, fat, even brush strokes because with this white Diamond FX paint, you can go over it again and again and make it bright. So adding that base layer first. Just get them as even as you can, but don't worry too much about perfection.
I have a couple of different size brushes that I use, and they are just regular cheap paint brushes. I believe I got them from Hobby Lobby. Maybe it was $6 for the whole bag of paint brushes. And I'll use like a small brush and maybe a medium sized one to do all this fine line work. Now, I just messed up, so here in a minute I'll show you how to fix if you do mess up on your white markings. It's easy peasy, no big deal. I went a little too high on the lines that go straight up the forehead. I'm just going to go ahead and finish my markings out, finish my big diamond, and then I took another brush, put some water on it, and then just took a tissue and blotted off the extra white that I didn't mean to put there. See what I mean? So easy to fix if you make a mistake doing it this way. And trust me, I've made plenty of mistakes. But it's so easy to fix, seeing you're using that water-based white over the orange alcohol. And all done! Time for some eye makeup. Hey, that was easy. If you want to see the full tutorial for eye makeup, check out my other videos. Last, I just add some lashes. And here we are. Thank you guys so much for watching and comment below if you have any questions at all. I am more than happy to help. I will also put some links of where I bought these products from. Guys, have a great day and may the force be with you.